a Rolling Stone article came out. I want to say, um, where's the date on this? Recently. Yeah, it's it's sometime this week. I don't know what the does Rolling Stone. Oh no, there it is, July eighteenth. So what was that? You're really getting caught up caught up in the shit that I don't care about. Tuesday. <laughs> what is Tuesday? the title of the article? <laughs> I'm building up. I, I, hey man, I gotta I gotta get the context out here. Okay, this is fucking big news, and the only reason this got this this came out obviously because of Comic Con. And it got swept up to the rug at the, the, the same notion. So exclusive. Apparently, a bunch of fake account bots fueled uh, the Snyder Cut online army. Well, I've read the article, though, and that headline is deceivingly salacious. For okay. sure. So Warner Brothers basically put out this internal report. Well, I don't think they put it out. I, I think a journalist got their hands on it. Got their and grubby this is, paws all and over this it. isn't, by the way, this isn't like some no name journalist. Like she has a name in the industry. It's Milo Yiannopoulos. It's Milo. <laughs> he's back. He's back, and he's salacious. <laughs> oh, I guess we got to end the stream. No, anyway. Um. So, uh, anyway, they put it. This is. I'm just saying. This comes from a credible source, and basically, uh, what it here is alleging is that. Zack Snyder basically fueled his online army to get the cut of his movie made. Now, this article is long and it is detailed, but there are some key things I want to pull out. <laughs> long, and, long and detailed. Just how I like you it. Gotta, you gotta, you gotta pull today. out. So, first one off. All right. So, first thing that strikes me, uh, or I guess is the bit most striking, is that. Zack Snyder totally knows that he has a massive online fan base that he mobilizes and plays it off for sure. Like the Riddler in the Batman. Apparently there's a quote of him saying that he wanted to get Jeff Johns and um one of the other and John Berg. Somebody uh John Berg, I think his name is Jeff Johns and John Berg. Uh they want to get he wanted to have their names taken off the film. Okay. Before it came out. And his quote was saying, if they don't, um, Jeff and John are dragging their feet on taking their names off of my cut. So do it now or I will destroy them on social media. Like, destroy. What? He's, go, he's going this full man, on, like, I think this fucking man is 51. Lex Luthor. Yeah. Like, so um, there's also another event that is alleged in here that when Godzilla vs. Kong came out and did way better than the Snyder, the Snyder cut did. Um, the Snyder cut fans, uh, the Snyder verse, you know, the crazies, they were review bombing Godzilla vs. Kong because it just was doing well. Apparently this is what, ha this is what led us to no dislikes on YouTube. And these people are, are still pulling this crap. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. Adam Wingard, the director of Godzilla vs. Kong called Snyder and said to him, Hey man. Can you like put out something to get your fucking fans from stop tearing apart my movie? And his response was basically like, "Yeah, man, I don't, I don't really control any of that that's going on." This sounds like the January sixth hearings. It's yeah. like, what was he doing? Like, yeah. And it was at one hundred and eighty-seven minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um. So. Uh, there's I also some. Digital. I don't want to say that the theatrical release is the only release. I'm just gonna say that the Snyder release is now out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so all that being said, there was a digital. There's like a digital mark of, or like a social media campaign firm involved that like took a, a look at the legitimacy of all this though. And unfortunately, even if Snyder did these things right, where he was just like a piece of shit and bullying his way around to like get his cut, and like, hey, listen, you gotta remember. His daughter also, you know, unalived herself. So, like, he was probably distraught and crazy and saying all, like, you know what I mean? He probably wasn't in a great place mentally, right? That being said, there is somebody quoted in here saying, one source maintains that Zach was like a Lex Luthor wreaking havoc. What did I say? Um, he <laughs> yep. accused Warner Brothers of leveraging his fan base to bolster their streaming service, which if that was the plan, that didn't work out either. Only 37% of the accounts that started the Snyder Cut finished it. Like, like come on, buddy. Dude, I, I, I love that. He instantly was just like, you should look over to them. And then yeah, they look over to them. Yeah. And then all the data is like, what are you talking about? But here is here is the key piece of data that makes all of this fall apart. 
and this is this is the important part of it. Only 13% of the accounts were fake. That means 87% of them were real. They were using Restore the Snyderverse. And that's why Elon Musk is not buying Twitter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what a fucking whirlwind, huh? Yeah. God damn. So here's my deal. Is like there, there's two sides to a... Um, Zack Snyder is right and wrong in this, if any of this is true. If any of this is true, right? That he, you know, all this behavior... He's wrong for that. I mean, if he wants people off the cut of his movie, he that's his he's the director. He's entitled to that. Um cuz they cuz you know, those people didn't believe in his vision of the movie. So why would he? Um it's absolutely true that HBO Max was trying to leverage Zack Snyder's fan base to bolster their that is a hundred, he is 100% correct about that. Uh, originally he was supposed to get 30 million to finish the movie. That turned into like forty three million almost overnight, which turned into seventy million, which then the final number out the door was a hundred million. So it was a hundred million dollars to produce the Snyder Cut for HBO Max. And was it worth it? Well, I I mean, I don't think so. No, ultimately, <laughs> no, no. It's it no. wasn't. It wasn't. All it did, all it did, was fucking pump up the most toxic motherfuckers on the internet like fair i'm sorry like listen uh, give me the desert movie like i'm i'm oh there with God. you like if they gave me the desert movie i'd take the desert stop movie. calling it the desert movie start calling it the reach around movie. it's the desert it's movie. the reach around the, movie. The, the reach around it's desert a reach for sure but <laughs> it was like be, a bad mario level <laughs> the one everyone hates but um, <laughs> even if even if they put that out, right, I'd be like, okay, what? But this rabid obsession with like a director's vision for like the Justice League is so weird. But I mean, like, it, what a I weird think, thing to have be your obsession. I'm sorry. I do think it was. It's a weird it, avenue. He to was pick. vindicated in the fact that the movie was substantially better. It was still not great. But it was substantially bad. I think yeah. it went from like a three to a six. But also, like we all said, you could have cut that movie down to like two forty, and it would have been right. yeah. so much better. Right. Like there are apparently issues. Well, there were apparently issues like um, the Martian Manhunter scenes. He was told not to have in the movie, and he lost his shit over that, so he put them in anyway. Uh, he shot stuff at his house when they told him he couldn't shoot stuff. So he just like shot stuff in his backyard. <laughs> he's got he's got his like action figures and he's like just shooting, you know, like it's I'll show, like I'll show, show them. them. Like, and we're also, gonna go that way. Also, the other thing is that like here's the key factor in like what determines the bots from the humans. When do so they have a soul? <laughs> when some <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. You know, now that you say it, that's the key that's thing. That's the that key factor, that. and it seems like hundred percent of them have no souls. <laughs> but the thing was, is that like what they saw was that all of these bots, right, that were charged up making all these like Snyder cut um, tweets, they would be charged up for a period of time and then all lose, like lose all the steam. But eighty-seven percent of that data still remained fluid. You you know, so, so like they were active Twitter users after that? No, they weren't. It, was, it would just yeah, surge up something and then it would like, go but away. But the rest of them. The rest of them were, yes. Yeah, yeah there was something like a million <laughs> tweets a day happening that they said, like, give me the Snyder Cut, release the Snyder Cut. And then after that, it dropped down to like 50,000 or 40,000. It says, and this, people were like, that can't happen. You guys ready for this? You ready for the fucking twist? The fucking, oh shit, we should have paid attention to the first chapter of this book series. You ready? Mm hmm. All of this is alleged that Snyder hired those bots to get his cut of the movie literally around the time that BVS came out. What? Yep. 